Okay. What the Quran brother? But, home. Like, I, I oh, you got one at home? Yeah, I got the small, uh, the small version. Oh, really? Have you read it? Have you read it? Yeah. Whatever is oh, yeah. bad. Get like, read, huh? uh, whatever is... Do you... I'll give you a... Please just a little or pamphlet. Or why not? To, what do you believe no. yourself? No. <laughs> no, quite literally. Agnostic. But I keep whatever... Oh, okay, so agnostic means you still different. believe no, that I, there is well, God. The there's the possibility of something. I am just a feeble human being that does not understand. We should go okay. Exactly. So myself the the possibility of Unless we need, so that's the reason we need a creator to actually tell us how the universe and all of us came into existence. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm definitely more of a scientist. Okay. So when it comes down to ideas of religion, I do have a little bit of difficulty, but it doesn't mean that there isn't societal implications of betterment as a result of having something that you could. There is mm -hmm. an amount of hope that people need because otherwise the futility of life ends up becoming over. Exactly. I mean, you know, who would decide what is right and what is wrong? What is moral? What is immoral? What is good and what is bad? One human being cannot dictate what is good and what is bad, what is moral, what is immoral for the other human being. Which, which is funny because that's the whole problem with religion in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because it ends up being the people who are entitled to this belief system where they think that theirs is the only one, mm -hmm. right? And then they condemn others. As because well. we believe that God is all knowing he's all wise he's al hakim uh, yeah. that's one of the attributes of almighty god that he's al hakim he is yeah. all wise he knows everything so instead of human beings dictating what is good and what is bad because what is good for you may not be good for me what is right for you may not be right for me so we believe in a central wise authority who would definitely know how the human being should be how the human being should behave morally you know how the human beings uh, should lead their life that's the reason almighty god after creating the human beings he don't just leave the human beings to live on their own he guides them by choosing a man amongst men whom he communicates on a higher level whom we call them as messengers. And to these messengers, God gives them the book, the guidance. That's the reason we need the guidance. True, it helps. It does help, but I'm not going to argue against that. It's just the individual interpretation and then passing down tradition through mm -hmm. that, generations of ideas that they want to represent. And yeah. have converted, translated, etc. Those ideas. Right. That's where I started the problem. Because guess what? Man is not... Infallible. Pardon me? Man is yeah. not infallible. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So every single time we take <laughs> Allah subhanahu that's, that's very right because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions in the Quran, in one of the chapters of the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 28 and 29, Allah says, Khalaqal insana zaifa, that Almighty God has created the human beings weak. Yep. Yep. And and that's and that's one thing that you need to reflect on, brother, to yeah. say that there is a clear do you know why? Almighty God he mentions in the Quran, Allah says, Who will you serve Yurukum fil Arhami Kaifa Yasha? In Surah Ali Imran, one of the chapters of the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 7, Allah says, Who will lazi you serve Yurukum fil Arhami Kaifa Yasha? Do you not see that how we have proportioned you, created you, fashioned you in the wombs of your mother? Yeah. What were you a minute quantity of mingled fluid omitted? How did this come into existence? Yeah, I, I know. Get what I'm saying, brother? It, 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 yeah, I, I get very really close. I just, it is, it is an interesting thing because everybody has their version. So, right, right. right. And, and even within a specific, you know, if it happens to be Islam, there's different versions, there's different variations that people want to uphold. It's the same thing with Christianity, right? And then you get Catholicism, the right. variation of Christianity, right. where people have certain beliefs. Even with no matter, no matter, I, I respect that. No matter, no matter what, when you say versions of Islam, but no matter what people actually follow all the Muslims that believe in one Quran it, it that has 114 chapters from chapter 1 to chapter 114. But that's the same thing. But in Catholicism, the New Testament though, right? Like if we're not talking about Old Testament, the Abrahamic idealization. Right, right, right. Right. If we talk about that, because then we get into, you know, different versions of what people believe is to be the word. Right. And that, that's where I start to have issues because everyone will believe, if, if somebody is devout, like they will is, believe whatever it is that they believe in. Mm -hmm. So in Islam, brother, no, 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 the, no, no, the faith based not on blindness, the faith based on evidence, no, no, I, I agree, the faith I not agree. based on emotions, the faith based on emo, emo, uh, evidence. That, that's where things start to fall apart a little bit because everybody's got different accounts, right? Mm -hmm. If you look at the Dead Sea Scrolls and how a lot of it ended up being interpreted and translated. Right. So most of the, most of the things that the people actually found in the Dead Sea Scrolls are not even the part of the Bible, do you know that? I know, I know. Right? Gospel of Barnabas was part of the Dead Sea Scrolls, but that, that was never made into the Bible. No, because they just they took some of those things and then they built off. Exactly. Whatever matches with the church, you know, they have that understanding. For example, you have, you know, 66 books of the Bible that the Protestants follow. You have 73 books of the Bible that the Catholics follow. Even in Catholics, they have 82 books of the Bible, the Good News Bible, the Deuterocanonical. You know, the Syrian church actually follows only 30 books of the Bible. And you have the Samaritanian Jews, the Jews from the Samaria, the city of Samaria and Palestine. They only believe in the seven books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, that's it. Yeah, the one who, like, 
No, I know. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know. But in Islam, but in Islam, the religion is based on the teachings of the Prophet yeah. and the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, but that's... And, then, then and how the companions pro, uh, practiced it. But, and then where it, my issue with a lot of the religion is it's still based on the possibility, on an idea. And that's the basis of it. And I understand we talk about blind faith and faith and so on and stuff like that, but there's still something that we don't know and nobody knows. Do you know? No, I agree with you. I agree with you to, to some extent. But when it comes to Islam, brother, when it comes to Islam, brother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, He, there is no religious scripture on the face of the earth. I'm a student of comparative religion. There is no religious scripture on the face of the earth that puts a challenge to its readers besides the Quran to take out a mistake from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the Quran, He mentions in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 82, Allah says, and that's a falsification test. And this is for the test, this is for the people to take out a mistake from the Quran and the Quran will prove wrong. Allah says, Afala yat dabbarun al Quran, walau kana min indi ghairillah, la wajadu fi ikhtalafan kasira. Do you not consider the Quran with care? Do you not ponder over the Quran with care? Had it been sent from anyone besides Almighty God, there would have been many contradictions. It is a challenge for you, a lifetime challenge, to take the Quran and take out a mistake. No, of course, but that's So is it based on, is it based on a blindness? No, it's based on evidence. Well, no, but the yeah, thing is, the evidence uh, is circumstantial. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the issue, right? And that's what I'm getting at. It's not to dispute your belief. It's to dispute the basis of what it was created upon, right? Okay. And that's the issue. It's because, once again, we're talking about an idea. So the, so the, we're talking about an abstract idea. So the, challenge, so the challenge by itself is divine. So if you say that this challenge is not divine, then all you have to do is take out a mistake. Of course, but Another that's, challenge. But that's the problem then, because now we come back to what I was talking about previously like, about somebody's interpretation. Like you're taking out the things that you find. So I'll tell you something. Thing. I'll tell you something. No, 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 no. It's not the interpretation. It's not the interpretation. The interpretation is already done by the prophet and the companions. Okay, but that's and if we were to talk three thousand years ago to that individual, of course. Mm -hmm. But it's not directly from his. It's been handed down. At so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It was an oratorical passing down of ideas, right? Mm -hmm. An ideology. And then eventually it was transcribed. Okay. So at that point in time, there's going to be issues with the transition between the word that's when written. No, the, so listen, the thing is, you are comparing the Quran with the Bible now. Oh, no, no, no. You know why? No, no, I'll tell you something, brother. I'll tell you something. I'll, something. I'll, I'll tell you something. You need to understand that. I'll tell you. Because I've, I've worked, the reason why I, I respect that. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Right. The beauty of the Quran, there are three reasons. There are three reasons why you cannot compare those conditions with the Bible and the Quran is different. I'll tell you that. Do you know why? The Quran is different because of three reasons compared to the other religious scriptures. The Quran was revealed at the time of Prophet Muhammad the peace be upon him and Prophet Muhammad the peace be upon him, he used to memorize it and he used to ask the companions to memorize and they used to write it down in front of the Prophet and the Prophet used to confirm that. First thing. The second thing is the Quran is in a living language. The other religious scripture, for example, the Bible, the Hebrew is lost. There are barely any people who actually speak Hebrew. Original Greek, nobody speaks it. No, no, I know. Aramaic, who speaks it? No, I know, I know. Tons of differences, tons of differences in the originals of the Bible. Of course, but, and it comes back to once again, man is not infallible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, prophet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the words that he wrote down, yeah, yeah, exactly. how am I supposed to but trust? You know, the, the as much as I can trust you. Oh, so, so I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something. No, 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 I'll tell you something. If you have actually known the life of Prophet Muhammad, the peace be upon him, before his claim to be a prophet, just just telling you a bit about the biography of the prophet. How can we believe that a man in Arabia said that the, he is getting a revelation? How can we believe in that? Prophet Muhammad, the peace be upon him, before he started getting the revelation, for 40 years of his life, he was called as a Sadiq al Amin. He was called as truthful and trustworthy. What are the chances that this person 40 years and one day of his life comes out and starts lying to people for what? No, I know, but that, that happens for what? He's not the only one. No, for what I'm saying? Saul to Paul, right? It's not the only time this is happening. As mm -hmm. much as that might be a basis, and as much as. So the Quran is a living miracle. The Quran is a living. That's what I said. The Quran is a living miracle. Why don't you put the Quran to test? Why don't you put the Quran to test? Do, do one thing today. Do one thing today. Do one thing today. Take out some time from your, your busy schedule today. Open the Quran and sit down, try to take out a mistake from the Quran. We are here every week. Come back to me with a mistake in the Quran. Be truthful to yourself. No, 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 I'm telling you. You know, there are a lot of people who make a lot of claims. For example, I'll tell you something. This is the Bible. Okay, this is the Bible. I'll tell you something. I'll just show you something. You know, and, and I have read it a lot. 
Well, okay, so I worked at a theological college. Oh, okay. So, oh, no. Paul, I've had enough of these theological debates with enough people. Nice. And because I, if anything, I was to ascribe to any type of religion, it would definitely be more the mashallah. That's the reason I said, you are a theologian, brother, yourself. You are a theologian yourself. So, the more logical, the most logical thing that you can do today is the claim that I just made. I said, no religious scripture on the face of the earth presents a falsification test beside the Quran. I said, if you actually put the falsification test that the Quran actually presents to any of the religious scriptures of the world, they'll fail utterly. The Quran challenges its readers. The Quran challenges its readers to take out a mistake from the Quran. That's a living challenge of the Quran. All you can do today is go back, sit, take out a mistake from the Quran. Yeah, trust me, I know, because I know some guys who are Islamic and they're, they're amazing individuals. Right, right. Or a little bit more have a checkered relationship with the Quran and how they bastardize it and utilize uh -huh. it for themselves, right? Right, right, right. And that happens with everything, even with this. Right. right. I'll tell you something. Acts nine chapters Acts chapter nine verse number seven. Just with the Bible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the man we journeyed with him, who? Paul. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. Talking about Paul. Yeah, yeah. Stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Yeah. Okay? I gotta say, it's funny that you uh, that you highlighted. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> this is this is the subject that interests me. <laughs> well, no, no, of course, but I mean, you're not, Acts so, you're not supposed to write. Acts 22. Oh, come on, like you know, maybe you should advocate this for the you know the what do you call uh, the 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 priests and the pastors who've been tampering around with the oh, word of God. I know. Yeah, but everybody does. You know, it. everybody's guilty of it. So, so in one place, what we see, mm. Acts chapter. 9 verse number 7, we saw that nobody heard a voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they saw nobody, they just heard no, a voice. They saw nobody, but the voice is there, yeah. I know. And they that were with me saw indeed a light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that That's spoke great. to me. Yeah. So it, is that not enough? Just one contradiction is enough to disown, the disprove the Bible to be the word of God. So I am telling you, you put the Quran to the same test. You are a theology in yourself, brother, and I respect that. Yeah. You know, this is your subject of interest. I, it, I want you to take the Quran. Right. I want you said you have one. Self defense. Okay. So. Cheers. <laughs> Self defense. Well, I mean, to be fair, you, you should guys, have told him, you know, martial arts. Well, no, no, no. You guys are, you guys. I won't. I don't want to say that you're accosting people, but you're approaching people on the street. Like, I mean, there's an amount of respect that you need to have. Yeah, so sure. we're not uh, coming up right to people take it. I yeah. No, no, no. But it's it. like think about when you walk by the street preachers, right? And they're yelling at you. The, the witch? It's free preachers. You guys okay. are standing up on the soapbox with the fucking megaphone and everything like that, and they're yelling at everybody. It's in a cost, you know, it ends up being that it's in your face. You don't necessarily want to hear it. So this is a different approach that we take, and a lot of people appreciate the fact no, that we're not so... I, I do, I yeah, do. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's still the idea that you are representing an information that people don't necessarily agree with, and they're yeah. trying to be in their own little bubble, and you guys are... I think that's the beauty of freedom, right? Ah, don't! Ah, don't, 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 look at that! You so the woman, so the woman, no, who is? We are, see, did I, did I try to impress you? Yeah, you're both. See, you are, no, 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 you no. are, you, see, you are an educated person. <laughs> this guy is a theologian. This guy is a theologian. I, I worked at the you know, college for a long time, and I've studied right? every, every book. So we are, so some of my best friends growing up, I had the beauty. Abrahamic Jewish friends, right? They were Orthodox and stuff like that. I've worked for people who believe in Islam and then Druze as well. I'll, 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 I'll tell you something. Yeah. The beauty of Islam is what 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 makes Muslims different is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions in the Quran, Fazakir in Namanta Muzakir. Your job is just to convey the message. I have conveyed it to you. Whether you like it, you take if you don't like it, it's up to you, brother. No, I know. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, as a theologian. I have put forward to you a falsification test with the Quran offers. Okay, you know what? Give it to me. All right. I appreciate. I'm Once in a week, we are here. Once other, in a, you other can other give us your phone number as well if you want. Version, by the way, this is yeah, I was well, just no, telling no, you that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. When I say version, I mean it loosely as an idea of translation, prints, etc. Translation, not necessarily a version where it's your version versus their version. Uh, uh, so sorry, just, just to clarify. Yeah, yeah, so just to clarify why it, it's important for us. Because, no, I understand, because um, it's not to besmirch, and I didn't mean to. I yeah, apologize yeah. No, for No, that. no, no, I'm, I'm just, 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 just so... Just so you oh, know, yeah, bro. Thanks, like, man. Yours is good as well. There are different versions when it comes to other books, like yes, the Bible. Yeah, I just showed him that. I showed him that, yeah. 
in, in Arabic. So yeah. that's why I just wanted to clarify. Translation, oh, yeah, there are a lot of translations. There are a lot of translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the translation makes a mix, mistake, you don't attribute that mistake to the creator. You attribute that mistake to the translator. But that's no, the translator about, made a mistake. But we talked about that with fallibility. And fallibility <laughs> earlier. Did, did I not say that? Khalaqa insana zayifa. Allah SWT has created man weak. I know, I know, I know. Right? We talked about this. Right? So I would, I, would, I would, you know, ask you to take out a mistake from the Quran. Do that today. Sit down. Read it through. You know what the thing is? I hate doing that. I would rather take the good from it than look for the bad. I'm right. not here to disprove. I'm here to be better. Right. If nice. there is something in here, it's not going to convert me because right. unfortunately... Did I not say that? No, 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 no. You are not know, trying know, to know, convince me at all. I'm saying the book itself and the ideas that it represents isn't right. going to convert me. Right. It's not you as an individual and your representation of it. It's what the information and knowledge... I mean, the thing is... Th so, this is right? so this is the thing that I want you to understand. What I am seeing, uh, what I am saying are the words of a human. Yeah. On the Quran, what you read are the words of the creator. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So there's a difference between the words of the human beings and the words of a creator. See, you know what I mean? These are not the words of the prophet. No, I know. This is I the know. revelation from Almighty God. Of, yeah, I, I know. But that's right? the whole... The, we went over this though. That's the problem with it though. Because it once again comes back to the idea that I'm supposed to believe that there is some figment of our imagination and I'm saying that in a derogatory way just to put down my foot a little bit more no no see the Quran actually matches with your intellect that's well, the beauty of the Quran that's what I'm talking it, it, about it that's matches with your intellect that's what the I'm fitra the natural good. disposition you know but that's what I was saying taking the good from every right. book it doesn't matter what belief system you have it's taking the good from it and being better for it no so that, so the thing is so let's, say, so let's say you have this criminal law for example mm -hmm. somebody who you know breaches this this traffic light and this person gets a ticket you know, yeah. if you're looking at it from the perspective of uh, the person who got the ticket, he would say that, hey, you know what, the government is so bad, they gave me a ticket. Right? So, the government will only be good if they don't give any tickets. But what will happen to the streets after that? It will be a chaotic situation. Like what he's trying to say is, how, how do you know what is good, what is bad? Because right. You don't have a criteria to judge. So, well, that's the criteria. So now we're starting to talk about more philosophy and I think that because the argument that people try and simplify with that is that without the idea of religion to guide us, that human beings would be evil and corrupt and committing atrocities and stuff like that. And I don't happen. necessarily agree with that because there's people and places and stuff like that have completely wildly different tribalistic, shamanistic types of belief systems or nothing at all, and they're not running around murdering and raping and doing shit like that. And that's where I have an issue with the idea of saying that we need something to guide us from above that is divine in order for us to not be like, I, I agree with you partly because there's a thing called in Islam, it's called fitra, which is the natural disposition. The part of it is to naturally incline to the worship of God, mm -hmm. and another part is also to, to have certain morals that you don't naturally know why they're, why they're right or wrong, but you just know that's just a natural thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know I understand. it. But, but you still need revelation to tell you exactly what is right, what is wrong. Because there are certain things, like you you have so many debates in this society mm. that nobody can come to agree. If, if there was if there was such a clear natural inclination towards cer certain morals, there, shouldn't, there, there should never be any debate. Like for example, when it comes to, uh, what do you call it, uh, abortion or yeah. capital punishment. Mm or whatever else it might be. Mm -hmm. There's no agreement on these kind of things. These people are just head to head and they can't come to agreement. Yeah. So that's why you need a criteria. You need something to differentiate. This is right, this is wrong, and this is what you use. If, if you have a debate, if you have a discussion, you go back to this foundation. No, that, that's true, but that's also where societies come in, right? A group of individuals that come up with their belief systems that are able to guide them with or without any religious inclinations, those things exist as well, right? So you can have a moral philosophy that guides individuals that isn't necessarily religious based. But is it well, subjective? You can have it, but it doesn't mean it's right. No, yeah. but it doesn't mean that this is right either. It, no, it does because I, 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 this is objective. Hold on, hold on. This is objective. Subjective. No, this is what I'm saying. So the whole, uh, when it comes to when okay. it comes to divine, when it comes to divine, it's objective. And when it comes to talk about society, if it becomes divine subjective. If exists and is real, and depending on the individual that believes in it, and that's what I'm getting at, right? So, wait, so you are guys you, believe? Are you an atheist? Like no. you don't believe in, in God? I'm agnostic. So you're just not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? There, there's a lot of things that can't be explained yet, and is and so when I said before, I'm more scientific, right? In a lot of my yeah. basis of beliefs. But the problem with that is, with a lot of things, we won't know till we get there. So maybe we don't have an answer yet. Eventually, we might. It's just like when you die; you don't know exactly what it's going to be like, but you have an idea that, depending on your religious beliefs, that there is some sort of version of that that's going to be provided for you. But yeah. you don't know 100% sure. 
Yeah, so the right? reason why there is this uh, doubt is because you don't believe in a creator like with certainty. So that that's why I used coming, to coming to grips with understanding why believing that there's a creator that can that reveal revelation and, and gave us morality. That this wouldn't make sense to you because you don't even believe in the creator in the first place. I so used to. That, that's the thing. Because I had faith. Yeah, yeah, but as of right now, it wouldn't make sense. As of right now, it's because because of the idea and aspect of other religions is why I think it should be. Because there are other religions and that's why you're you're, you're agnostic. So that's the whole thing. What makes Islam different is the is the is the evidence by itself. That's what I said. So so you have a lot of religious people, you have a lot of religious books. I just give you the example of the Bible itself. So you as a as a scientific person as a you know theological uh, you know student of theology mm. what i'm telling you is that the quran is the only religious scripture that actually puts a falsification test for its readers to take out a mistake from the quran easy right okay so i mean if this claim is there for the people to come till the last day yeah and this yeah. claim is there since 1400 years yeah and this is not just one you know, i would have actually told you to there's another challenge in the Quran, but you can say that, you know, hey, I don't speak Arabic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says yeah. in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in one of the chapters of the Quran, Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse 23, 24, Allah says, yeah. I'm going to translate that for you. Yeah, yeah. Allah says that if ye are in doubt, as to what we have revealed to our servant from time to time, then try and produce a chapter like the Quran. There are 114 in this. If you think that this is not divine, then try and produce one like the Quran. What if you cannot do that? And Allah confirms that, that for a surety you cannot do that. Then prepare for the fire which has been created and whose fuel shall be man and stone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, two challenges. The first thing is to produce a chapter like the Quran. The second thing is to produce a mistake from the Quran. Okay, but you know. So the challenge is keep you know. But the thing is, though, when we come back down to it, yeah, I, mean, I don't, I don't want. I'm not trying to sit here and deface you. No, no, bro. I, I respect I that, bro. I can know. You or, no. Or the belief system itself, right? right? Yeah. Right. That's right. I did I not say that. We are here. Right. We are here to just convey the message. Whether you like it, you don't like it. Yeah, you know what I mean, bro? Course. Like it's it's all, it's all up to you. You know, that's but the freedom that we have. That's exactly. <laughs> but that's that's the freedom in in general. Right, Especially when right. you live in a westernized society where you have the ability to choose. Right. You know? And there is, we are such a mixed bag of right. every type of idea that exists that we have the options and the choices. Of right. And that freedom. And that's why you're presenting information. So the actual freedom, so the definition of freedom by itself, let me just add something to that, just to attach and you know make it more weightage. When you think of freedom, you're actually free when you submit your will to the creator. Otherwise, you are following your <laughs> desires. Otherwise, you are following your desires. And I, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions that in the Quran. Let's step away from this for one sec. No, this is my yardstick. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. Because I this is my yardstick. I don't agree. Otherwise, I would be following my desires. Otherwise, I would be following my desires. Otherwise, I would not have guidance. Say, but this goes back to what we talked about before. Yeah, that's they, what I'm they, saying. They say thing that is guiding us and the only reason why we are anything or something beyond ourselves is this belief system right that we think there is something beyond right otherwise it's 100%. just me 100%. it's just me doing whatever it, i like right that's not right the right case. if you don't believe in the concept of accountability then you can do whatever you want but does that actually deny justice does that actually deny accountability so there has to be a just being a, a divine being you know who would actually hold us to account who would tell us what is right and what is wrong. Otherwise, what will happen? You will end up following your desires. This is what I said. When you said that, put the Quran aside, I cannot put the Quran aside because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions in the Quran, in Surah Qasas, 28th number chapter in the Quran, and verses 44, 45, 46 to 50, if you read, Allah says that, have you not seen those who follow their desires leaving God's guidance? I'm not going to follow my desires, bro. I need guidance because your desires will not tell you what is right and what is wrong. But it's not just desire. If you think How would you know what is right and what is wrong? How would you know what you're doing is right unless you have guidance? But it's societal. Society keeps changing. Society keeps changing. Society keeps changing. There was a time. Society changes as we see it from way back when. 
Yeah, did I not say that in the beginning? Did I not say that in the beginning that what is right for me may not be right for you? Yeah, so, so. You know, you're putting this orange mask. I might not agree with that. I'm like, you know, hey, you know what? That's a really bad. One of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really bad color, man. You know, <laughs> I would prefer if it was white. Yeah. yeah you know. Get what I'm saying? So, but but you're also simplifying something that is almost. I hate to say it, but it's minutia. Mm -hmm. it end of the day. Relevant. So this is what I'm. This is what I'm saying. So end of the day, when people actually follow the desires, when you say you you have the society to decide that they are gonna follow the desires. When you follow it's your desires, society. you become enslaved to the desires. No, no, when you become society. enslaved to the desires, you worship your desires. And you when sh when you worship your desires, you become enslaved. I, I have a problem with your phrasing. Yeah, it's but. not a society that decides. It is an individual that decides within a society that sets up a guide. You talked about your yardstick. It's the same thing. Society is a yardstick. It's a guide. It's not necessarily the rules for all. As much as you might have made a reference earlier to somebody crossing the street and right. you know getting tickets, getting a ticket, yeah, da, 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 right. And it's not so much that. Society. Did I say that? Da, 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 da? I didn't say that. Just kidding. I hear you. Uh, obviously not. For you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but that's that kind of comes back, and I think that we're going to keep doing this dance hey. as we're conversing about right. this because you have a belief, right? Right. You have a belief as well. You have a belief. That's the reason you're denying, or you're not sure. That's part of your belief. But see, my belief. Can so change. you believe that you are an my agnostic. Can change. You. My belief has changed. Okay. I used to be. Okay, so you're becoming more open. You're you're coming closer I to. I went Christian. I went atheist. I've gone to Buddhism. I've actually studied Jewish, like like studying the uh, the Jewish scriptures, uh, the Torah, and and you know that kind of stuff. And then gone the Old Testament, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I've done all that, and then I've gone back, and I've gone back, and I've gone back, and I've gone back. And the reason why I'm open is because there is. So maybe you should study everything. Islam. You have studied everything. Well, this so maybe one, you should study Islam. Islam. I, didn't study, I didn't study the Quran yeah. nearly as much as I studied the rest. And I'm gonna tell you, brother, it's gonna fill you. Honestly, there's always gonna be something good. And that, no, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So when you rely on something which is the society offering you, there's always gonna be something. You'll always be looking for something. Yeah. But unless you come to something that is divine, unless you come across something that is true, that's the reason I said what I am saying is like a thing. <laughs> but then when you read the Quran, it is like is speaking to you. Yes. So if that doesn't fill you, then nothing will fill you. That's what but, I'm saying. See, did I not say that? You did. But once again, it comes back to, to believing that there is somebody that said this. Right. And I don't. So I want you to refute that. No, no. I mean, that's, that's, how, the most, that's the most story. logical thing that you can do is to sit today, take out the okay. Quran that you have and the one that I just gave you, and take out a mistake from it. And say that, hey, you know what, this guy, my name is Asif. Yeah. This guy is standing by the street corner, preaching, you know, saying that there is not a mistake in the Quran. Yeah. Here you go, I got one. <laughs> Come back here and then we can talk about it. You're the, this challenge is there. For refutation Pardon me? They can't be provided because it's based on... This is a living magic. miracle. Just, but, but this is a living miracle. Is a miracle is something, miracle is something that a human mind cannot, that is, that is, that is human impossibility. It just, once again, it comes back. You're looking for an empirical refutation based on something that doesn't have. No, you are looking for an empirical refutation. You are. Our our belief is but belief yes, in unseen. Belief is, but our belief is a belief in unseen. Else. Our belief is a belief in unseen. You are looking for an empirical evidence. No, 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 no. Why are you uncertain? 